Right, well, we're going mowing. We're going to go and mow our first grass field, which is up here. So we turn right here, and then the entrance is just there on the right. Or dead ahead of us, if you like. It's only a little field, so it shouldn't take us too long. If we control V the situation, everything should go down. Control X, and then everything should unfold. Right. We go around in a clockwise motion. Turn it all on. Give it some of this. Any bits we miss, we will endeavour to pick up. Pick up? I mean, cut. <laughs> look professional then if I haven't back through the hitch. Take you off like that. We'll get there in a minute. Just wondering whether our windrow might be a little bit too large for this field, or any of our fields actually, because they're all pretty small. I do like smaller fields. I know a lot of people really prefer the big fields. But I like the small ones, I like, because when you're sat in a big field and you're there and it takes an hour or an hour and a half to cut it, it just, it becomes monotonous, as you will all know, I'm sure. But when you get the little ones and you get it done quite quickly and then you can beetle off to the next one, you're not just sat in a field cutting it, you get the chomp around a little bit, see the views, enjoy the scenery. That's all that done, so we'll move on to the next one. We'll leave the, we'll leave the one by the farm till last. The next one's just a little one. We're not going to get a particular high amount of bales off of any of this, that's for sure. But the next one again is a little one, so it won't take us very long. It's that one there on the left. And the hole to get into it is somewhere around here, isn't it? Or is it? Oh no, it's over there. Well, it's a little bit secluded. Oh, that hasn't come up. Didn't notice that to start off with. This is going to be a, a pain in the behind. Do it like that. Overcome a situation. I guess it's about the same size as the one that we just did, actually. Uh, unfold. Now lower down everybody. Yes, yes, yes. In your own time. But 
Let's uh, position ourselves. Position. <laughs> Well, I came to the conclusion that we have a very oddly shaped bunch of fields. I also forgot that this pushes it out to the left. I should have remembered, really, because you've got the old uh, <laughs> deflector to the side there, but that took a long time to come up. So hopefully it won't be too much of a bore on the baler. I think it'll be fine there. So the rain stopped as well, you may have noticed. It was always nice. Sunshine has come out. So we'll make the most of that whilst we can. Not sure we're going to get this bailed in this episode. I don't. Oh, we might do. I suppose it depends on how excitable I feel about the whole situation. This is pretty similar to the, the Fella wind rower, actually, or one of them. So we've got a large one that's got four turning wheels on it, and then the, the dual. Although the dual, like this Fella one, I find quite difficult to operate. Probably because it's difficult to operate. <laughs> <laughs> it's, the only, it's the only way I can explain it. It's it does some weird things. I, yeah, it does weird stuff. It does. It's true. But this is this is nice because it. Um, means that you can do a relatively nice job with these ones. I don't know, I, ju I just kind of prefer this type, I guess. In some strange, sadistic kind of way. Let's just get this little bit into a row here, and then we'll head off. To our other two fields. Here we go. Let me turn you off. And we can fold you. Oh, that 
got very excited about something, didn't it? <laughs> I should just spring into action, Zebra. Okay. As you please. As you please. So we've got a nice turny axle on this, which is going to put us... Oh, it is. It's going to put us right into the post. Came in fine. There we go. Turns very well. It goes where you don't expect it. It's because the, it's got the, the kind of pull lever action on the back. I must say it's nice now it's stopped raining. Come on then, Puma. Unfold as we go in like a professional. <laughs> I'm no professional. I'm just me. Drop you down then. Turn you on. Do it like this this time. Bring it out into the field a bit more and we can put any and out into themselves. Be a little bit better for us, I think. Alrighty, nearly there. He says, up oh, she lifts. Yeah, we'll just um, get this last little bit into some kind of precisional row. <laughs> There's not a lot to do because the fields are so small. But they are fiddly fields, which creates... Oh, see, look, I was getting too hasty then. Getting too hasty, Seabur. Calm it down. Yeah, just because they're awkward makes it time consuming. Right, let's get you into that last rope. And in fact, we can go through our gate just here to get back into the yard. That's exciting, we've not used that one yet. <laughs> or have we? Did I use that one? Oh, maybe I did. Maybe I did. 
Don't care, I want to use it. There we go. It's a bit lopsided, isn't it? Do you think it's alright? Are you alright? Are you broken? I don't know. Oh, this will be fun reversing this bad boy. Actually, I put it there, so I should be fine. I am the reversing king after all. I challenge anyone to a reversing challenge. Challenge you all. And take me on? Let's do it. Okay, so we'll stick this in here. And we need... We need to go bailing. So we're going to use that, and then we're going to rent in a wrapper. A square bail wrapper. I hope... I hope the bales that this produces are compatible. We'll have to get the wrapper first, I think. We'll knock one bale out, and then just double-check to make sure that the situation I think that we're going to be given is going to be okay. Hopefully it's not the other situation. Grass looks good, though, doesn't it? The, um, the cut texture, actually. Let's zoom in. It looks good. Uh, I, that can't be the giant's texture, can it? It looks unusually well done. 